DRZ. So how do these work? <laughs> how do I ride this? So we're going to trade bikes because I want McLovin to see if he can tell if, if I'm crazy or if all this complaint. Like, do you feel the squishiness already? Yeah. If he can tell the difference and right jumping from one to the other is the best way to do it. Oh my god, it's like coming home. <laughs> Except for your seat sucks. <laughs> and I rode it all the way out here, jerk. <laughs> yeah, dude, I know. you got to get that seat concept. Oh, the, the throttle's weird. Okay, good. Yeah, can you okay. just talk through it. How do you feel? I, uh, I jumped here on, on Dork's CRF 250L, and immediately I noticed, one, that the suspension is more squishy, and I noticed that uh, the throttle, there's a lag between when you turn it and when you start to get throttle, whereas on my DRZ, it's immediate. Ooh. I certainly noticed the torque difference already, just jumping on it, like, it doesn't have the immediate power. Yeah, this is interesting, this is an interesting uh, comparison. It feels completely different than the DRZ. Yeah. It's quieter, you're right on that, it is quieter. This bike feels way lighter, which is stupid because uh, they're the same. I would agree with that, I don't know why that is. Yeah, it makes no sense. Well, yeah, do your, do your comparison with your DRZ now that you're on mine. It feels taller, it feels more nimble, it feels it feels more capable. I don't know how to describe, it's like it's it's like stiffer and um, sturdier. That's really the word. It feels sturdier because the CRF is just squishy. And you can see with McLevin on it, we weigh about the same. It's squatting like really bad. Like it's just a soft suspension that's designed to soak up, make street riding comfortable, I think and not really an off-road suspension. And the DRC has a far better suspension, you can really tell. Um, the steering, I don't know, it just feels like I can turn in quicker. It just feels more responsive. It's good for an experienced rider, but maybe bad. It's less forgiving for a new, newer rider, I don't know. I don't know how I would have felt about this. I wish I could teleport my brain back to when I first started, because <laughs> I bet this bike would have scared me. Yeah, I Tall, bet you're right. Seat height, power, like I would have just been like nervous the whole time. But that Man, one, I just find myself revving it out all the time, trying to find the power. And could you could you imagine whiskey throttle in the DRZ like your brother did on the Hawk? Yeah, he would have gone over the rock. I mean, yeah. I mean, literally, he would have got his front end up on that smaller rock and maybe gone over in a very ungraceful way. <laughs> in your opinion, in your in your off-road rider opinion, um, capability-wise, does how does it feel cap capability-wise for off-road riding compared to this so far? You know, let's get it on the let's get it on the trail and I'll and, yeah. and let's see because I mean, riding the road, you get one feeling and. And on the trail, you get a different. Yeah. Well, we'll take this right. Yeah. I'll go up the go up in the dirt. Yeah. You're gonna get a real a real test if we go up that rocky <laughs> climb. If you want to. Yeah. We'll get, I'll give it a shot. Oh, here it goes. Yeah. Get my oh. bike muddy. Why don't you? Left. Oh. Okay. Well, you have risers on this, but standing yeah. up feels God so much better. We're going oh, left. I just got soaked. We're going left. Left. Here's my oh, big puddle. Got, yeah, I just got soaked. Yeah, this is my big one that I <laughs> annihilated oh, it. It's pretty deep, bro. That is way deep. <laughs> uh, it's not not deep. Oh, I use just the traction. This bike feels so much more sure-footed. The torque is unbelievably better. It doesn't yeah, matter can, what your revs are at. I can tell you really got to be in the throttle on this. Yeah, yeah. To get to get to the same place, it's like probably half again as much throttle or close. Yeah, you real. I mean, and it t because it takes a little while to even start. Yep. Like you got to be have a heavy hand. And you kind of gotta, you kind of gotta anticipate that you're gonna climb and yep. get on the throttle earlier. You Ooh. Need, yeah, you need a lot more momentum. Oh god, yep. standing up is so much, so much better on this bike. It's just the bumps, like it yep. jostles me around too much to stand up well on that. I'm just not good enough, I guess. It'd be or water to look at the map. Oh, this is the one I charged. Oh, oh. yeah, that one's deep. <laughs> oh, sorry, oh. your white bike is muddy. That's okay. It was muddy before you got on it. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> I just feel I'm back home, baby. <laughs> I just think I was the DRZ was made for me. Nobody else, just me. Just you. It's a lot and less me. work. It's way more effortless to do this yep. stuff. It just eats it up. That bike's like, are you sure? Yeah, you you've got to be in the power on this one to do the same the same things you can do easily on the DRZ. I think we both have a comparison video here, actually. I think you're right. I mean, I've already done one, but your the, opinion would be good. The suspension is not good. No, it sucks. You're going left at the log. Okay. And then the kill climb is on your right through the water crossing, so be oh, yeah. ready. Okay. Oh, I'm so glad I'm on this bike. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Whoa, I almost put it down. Okay. Got a little sideways crookedness. I did this on the bras, so. Come on, baby. You can do it on the 250L. Yeah. Just getting a good line. There we go. Yeah, we're bouncing. We're bouncing. 
Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> uh, definitely got to feed her the beans, that's for sure. Yeah, you got to give it the onions. <laughs> oh, sideways. Oh, yeah. That's muddy. Whoa. Oh, yeah. So squatty. <laughs> it's just super oh, yeah. squatty. And you can feel it bottoming out. Yeah. It's nice as a gas gauge. I'll give it that. I like that. Yeah. I like the fuel injection. Yep. That's one of the reasons why I went with it over like the KLX or yep. was the gas gauge. Right. Oh my God. Right back on this and I'm like, nah. You it know It's just hard to turn. It's weird. Yeah. It doesn't turn well comparatively. No, it's just, I just think it's set up to be street friendly. Like that's what it's for. So realistically, you're actually talking yourself into selling it more than you anticipated, I think. Yeah. I mean, I need to do that too psychologically so you can take it with a grain of salt, but you know, whatever. I am recording. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> uh, by the way, I like my DRZ. Yeah. So, in your opinion, McLovin? Yeah. Scale of one to ten, the DRZ, um, in terms of off-road capability for the type of riding we're doing right now, is what? You know, I think it's probably you know it's not a dirt bike level like a 450 dirt bike. So I'd probably put it. Are we? Are we? What are we? Uh, what are we comparing it against? Other dual sports or like dirt bikes or everything? Um, I would say other dual sports because like okay. du dirt bikes are like a KTM two stroke is right, class right, of its own. Right. It's not it's not the same. So hey, how about street capable motorcycles? Okay. Off road ability. And that would I'd include the KTM dual sports. Having not ridden the 450L, I'd probably give it probably up there in the eight, eight and a half just because it's so capable of doing so many things uh -huh. and it does it well. Like I rode out here at 70 miles an hour. Yep. We've been riding all day, uh, be screwing off here at the end. And uh, it just, it does it all. It eats it all. Yep. Yeah. I would agree with the DRZ. I would probably say it's an eight, eight-ish. Um, yep. So what do you think the CRF is based on your short time with it? Probably more like in that six range, six and a half. And, and I think it's a, like you said, maybe a little bit more road, gravel road bias than actual dual sp or a dirt bike bias. Um, where I believe this is, feels a little more 50-50. Yeah. It's uh, definitely more comfortable like, on the road yeah. than the DRZ. I'll yeah. That's that. probably like a 60-40 probably. What do you think? You know, like... If you're rating it as a tire, That's or maybe a 70-30. 70-30. Yep. Okay. But yeah, probably a six and a half on what we did today. This is more like an eight and a half. Yep. Uh, having not ridden, like I said, a 450L or or bikes in that category. Yep. So. Makes sense to me. Yes, I'm better on this than I was before, but right. same skills, same terrain. I, I get a lot more out of the DRZ. Like that's yep. the... If the people that have been asking the question, are you sure the uh, CRF is more capable than you gave it credit for? Um, it might be a little more capable than I gave it credit for, but it is hard to ride off-road in ways yep. that it doesn't need to be. And I need to caveat that in this technical trail riding, which right. is not what it was ever designed for. <laughs> it just wasn't. Like, if you're just doing forest roads and, and you know, and, and some even some abandoning forest roads and maybe some light kind of stuff, you're going to be fine. Yep. But you want to take it on actual OHV ATV trails, it's just not great for it because it's not supposed to be. Well, I think when you were talking about weight, if you take, what, maybe half the power of the 400, you know, and, and saddle it with the same amount of weight, it is going to be sluggish, you know? Yeah. Well, I almost dropped it today twice. Yep. And it's because when it starts to lean, even Done. though the DRZ is taller, it is harder to keep this thing upright. Yep. It's weird. She's just got the easy, smooth power delivery, which is not what I want. Yep. It's not what I want. And I don't want to have to piss rev it all the time. I, it, I need it to be, in a way, it's funny because the DRZ is, is twitchier and um, has more power, but it's actually more forgiving of, the t of mistakes in this type of terrain because yeah. I can get power when I need it. Whereas with a bike like this, you've got to be set up. You need the flywheel spinning. Like you come around a corner and there's a hill climb. You're basically screwed. Yeah. Unless you just pin the throttle and hope for the best. Yeah. I mean, you've, but even then it takes a minute to get going. Yeah, it does. It's You're just, right. It's just sluggish sluggish that's a good word for it by comparison i think yep soft and sluggish kind of like me compared to <laughs> someone in shape <laughs> but see mentally you're just you're sharp you're just yeah, you're on right, it yeah mentally i want to be good but <laughs> are you gonna crush these puddles or so that's it i think for our day of trail riding on crf so thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed the video um thank you mclovin for hanging out it's great riding with you don't forget to give the video a like or don't hesitate if you liked it or had fun or you want to see mclovin ride through more puddles uh, hit, give it a like, that really helps. <laughs> and appreciate your support. But for now, as always, I just want to say thank you very much for watching. And please don't forget to be excellent to each other. I'll thank you. Excellent!
Did your uh, thoughts on shotgun improve today from the first time yes. to now? I hate it less. Okay. Being less of a terrible rider makes it more fun. Okay. Um, I would come back here, whereas I have told many people not to come here. Right. It's still not as good as any of the other OHV areas I've Okay. We had a good time today. No injuries. Bikes are dirty. That's what we're looking for now. I get to ride the 45 minutes or so home. Catch you later.